I am SL and I am here at the Tool Room HQ doing the best interview of the year. I'm from Liverpool and the music scene there is absolutely sick. They've got some really good underground clubs such as WAV, Jameson Tunnels. The sound systems in there is absolutely sick. That's literally all you need. You just need a crowd and the sound system and the vibe is absolutely everything. I started playing in um, an underground bar called uh, G Bar in Liverpool. That's in like what we call gay town. Like that was where all the underground music was those days and it turns out that I'm actually gay so it went hand in hand to be honest. I think they wanted somebody who was a female or, or lesbian to front for that gay exterior which they had because all their DJs were straight at the time so it made a good in for me. From there um, I decided that I really wanted to find that vibe in other places so I went off to Ibiza. I managed to gain a residency at Sankey's for Red Light. The vibe in there was like G-Bar but on a like whole other level. So that for me really started cementing where I wanted to be in my career and from there that's when I started making music. One of the first songs I fell in love with was Vice Sunshine. It wasn't Fill My Needs which that came later which obviously was so sick but Your Sunshine was so so good and I feel like that really hit home with me and projected into my productions which is where I was just originally starting at that time. So before I was DJ um, producer, I was working in kids' homes. So I, I spent, I think it was nine years looking after kids, uh, trying to get them from leaving care, like 16 to 18 year olds and making them semi-independent to go out into the real world. It's very easy when you're in the care system to lose sight of where you want to be because you've been through a lot. So we're just trying to keep, keep them on the straight and narrow, give them some ambition, get them sorted out for adult life. So the artists that kind of inspired me were the reason that I actually do what I'm doing today and took that first step into music. The first one is Hannah Wants. I was lucky enough to meet her after a gig at Warehouse Project and she she told me there's not enough females doing this and to absolutely go for it, to not be scared to just like fully take the plunge and just go for it. So. I did, like the next day I went home and I bought some decks. I didn't have the money for it, but I borrowed it and then paid it back when I could. And in that time, I was just learning how to DJ and, and from there, was, that's how I progressed. Even now, I'm consistently listening to Flume. Not the same music as me, but Flume, I, I'd say his his creativeness to, to music production is insane. It just gives me this buzz, like this energy and this fire. Thirdly, uh, was actually Shiba San, who I managed to speak to on socials. And he told me that I needed to produce in order to make a career in DJing. So that's what I did. Inspiration behind Sweat would be Ibiza. I really found myself when I was playing at Sankey's. It was everything I'm singing about in the track, which is low ceilings, black walls, strobe lights. Maybe I'm not gonna lie, everything was hazy. <laughs> but I also wanted to stay on the Lennon um, vibe also because you know what, Lennon, Lennon did smash it and I'm really, really happy with that, especially because it was the first release of the year. And as soon as I came out, it felt like people got the vibe which I was promoting, which was like energy and everyone was just ready for this new year. Do you know, like 2023, like let's have it. I'm glad it's doing well still and that it got to, you know, number two in the charts. Super proud of that. I think some advice for upcoming, upcoming female talent, um, would be not to seclude yourself just because it was once a male dominated industry it's not that anymore if you still think like that you're always going to be there you know you can't get from there to there it's still being in this category think your way forward just do it don't wait for anybody to tell you you can do it or it's now time for you to be who you want to be already be that person <laughs>